Okay, here we go. I'm excited. We're excited. Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. This, this is where our story begins. Big man Jeff. Scientific breakthrough is under consideration. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So nature did what it does and unleashed. Yeah. This time, deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos, it sounds much worse. And for a moment, <coughs> we remembered how precious life is. Claire. Time has a funny way of Henry Wu. memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the, For the dinosaurs, dinosaurs left, left behind, behind time, time was becoming, becoming immaterial. immaterial. From, From miracles, miracles of science, science to assets, assets destined, destined for exploitation. This whole thing actually looks really cool. Time, we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal. Oh, damn, the most. Yeah, I, I forgot there's gonna get quacks in this game. Oh, bro, I'm so excited. Okay, head into the campaign. Campaign Arizona, okay. Arizona, kinda. Of, a cool location. It's a desert. Did not have deserts in the last game. Actually, we just had the tropical-looking map, so maybe this, maybe this will be a bit of a change-up straight off the bat. No, oh, here we go. To us, a desert oh, Jeff. is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures have thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with. Dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. <laughs> the current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge. Well, those that think they're in charge. That Bionics looks really cool. We're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's going to be different. Hopefully. To embrace the uncertainty. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, Cap of Finch. I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Hold on. Cap Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish um, and Wildlife. I know it sounds important because it is. Why? <laughs> the blue filter has gone on his face. I can. Oh, that's weird. Organizational flow charts. Seeing his actual face is weird. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have oh, Claire Deering, nice. experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He but it's not Chris Pratt, Raptors. though. You could call me a dinosaur. <laughs> yep. Though, yep. Guessed it. Was he too busy uh, recording his voice lines for Mario and Garfield? This happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility. Response Equip facility. With the Ranger Team 4x4. And a capture team helicopter. Okay. Oh, it gives me a. Is it, no, I'm guessing this is for the tutorial now. Surely this is up for the whole game. Alright, let's... Yeah, there we go. Oh. We What's this? Backup generator. So oh, I'm just fine. That's new. I swear we did not have those in uh, the first game. We just had... Power stations, was it? And it was kind of annoying because you had to constantly, like, connect the uh, electricity pylons. All right, stick drift. I know you hate me, but come on. Nice. All right. 
response facility. Hey, well, I can't travel as nearby baryonics. Catch team on. Then the sensible thing is to take a okay. team helicopter. You can try and get from the air. See? I like the way I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Alright, so it is still triangle to like aim. Oh yeah, it says at the bottom there. Uh Okay. How how do I shoot? Um You gonna tell me? Is it R2? No, that's... Okay, it might be R1 then. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. No, he's gonna run away. Okay, then. Imagine I hit it then. Come on. Please. Oh, what was that? That was terrible. There we go. Okay, where's the... Is it... Oh. What's that? Oh, I don't need to go back to the thingy station to get a transport. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I remember how annoying that was in the last game. That's quite a cool touch. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. Oh, I already did it. Hey, don't I always? Wait, you don't have to answer that. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge, and perhaps, opportunity. Can I not click on him now? Alright, well, I guess I gotta wait till he gets here now. Right, you, you done? Ah, he, he almost drowned. Great. Oh, nice water effects. Nothing like exceptional, but still look pretty nice. You mean after you almost died and then couldn't save it, you killed it. <laughs> you trapped it in that room and then it was burnt alive <sighs> all right requires status check how do I do all those environment oh feeder okay oh well I, with you there. I don't really want to place it there I did not mean to do that all right okay so a lot of these controls are similar to the first game so it should be quite easy to you know or at least for most of them it should be easier to uh, figure it all out again. Alright, I've placed it down. I'm, right, I'm pretty sure you can access it. For more status check on Happy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment I'm guessing that's what the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Bruh, I'm, I'm too good at this game. Oh! That's quite cool. Pretty sure the vehicles did not leave tracks last time. I might be wrong. But uh, I don't remember it for some reason. He's over here. Hello there, Senor Baryonyx. Oh wait, bit close. Okay, he's missing, missing rock. So I can give him rocks. I'm guessing that's something about it. Uh, water. Yeah. Rocks, okay. So that's... Oh, oh, that's quite cool. So, have they added more terrain? We've got... Dirt, rock, sand... Dirt again. Rock again and sand again. I guess they're just slightly different ones. For some reason we only got the Piscovore 
the feeder. We've obviously got water, nature. So I'm pretty sure it said he wanted rocks, so let's try and place a rock. Oh I can toggle the axis. Right, let's give him one here. Can I rotate? Which way would be best for this? Here no. Maybe like no no, go back, go back. Yeah, like that. Alright, that's one. That's a, that looks quite nice. If I don't say so myself. Uh, uh Okay, this I like that they've added this. Obviously it's not like the craziest customization because you can't like move it up and down. You can only rotate it, but it's still definitely an improvement on what we had last time. Uh, okay, I don't actually like how this has been placed. <laughs> can I redo this? Oh, there we go. Maybe... Maybe like that. Yeah, there we go. And then, place that there. And then what I'll do is I'll get another one. And I'll like place it next to it. I'll just place that as it is. Yeah, there we go. So now I've built our bear and it looks like a little island. Is that enough rocks for him? I think it is. It doesn't say he needs rocks anymore. He's on 98% comfort now. Oh, bro, just look how cool that looks. I'm pretty sure they've changed the model a little bit. Yeah, I think they've changed the model on the face. Not not by much, but like slightly changed it. I'm not too sure though. Oh, the dinosaurs leave footprints as Nat. Uh, as Nat, what? English. Uh, <laughs> the dinosaurs place fo footprints as well now. Do a what? Right. Oh, stick drift. Ranger post. Is it enclosures? Fences, sorry? Or is that it? Oh, there we go, ranger post, okay. Uh, oh! Okay, so that gives off like a... Yeah, okay, so... Well, that's a bit cover the whole thing, so maybe there. Does that cover the whole thing? Not all of it. Maybe... Maybe there. Okay, there's like a slight bit on the edge that doesn't cover. That's going to annoy me if it doesn't. Oh, there we go. It, it basically covers the whole thing. But yeah, there we go. Okay, I did take away a bit of water there. Is he going to need any more? Oh, no. He's fine. Uh, assign a ranger team. Could I do that here? No. How do I do that? Do I have to go to the ranger team? Add task maybe? Isn't that for... Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Alright, nice. Good. Now what? Try set. I'm getting reports Ooh. of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? Alright, this is... <laughs> I, mean, I almost went over to that one then. What is this actually? That's an arrival point. Especially if they sense survival cool. is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah. Alright, where's these triceratops? Now, there they are. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter. And then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Hello there, fellas. Alright, do I want to get the ones that... Light? No, I'll get the one that's standing up. Because the ones that are lying down won't be able to run away. And he will. There we go, quick, quick, quick. Okay. Eh. Sit down, boy. Mission objective complete. I'm guessing it's... Oh wait, what's this? Enclosures? I s construct an enclosure for the Triceratops. Where's the park? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, 
defense. Okay, can I only place these? All right. I was gonna say because you can select fences normally, but I'm guessing I have to unlock them again. Oh, not again, but you know what I mean. Unlock them. Is this a bit too small? All right. Well, if it is, I pull it. Why is it blue? Oh, it's... Oh! So it, like, takes a while to actually fully build it up. That's quite cool. Could be annoying, though, if you're trying to, like, quickly place something into a thing. Alright. Uh, how do I get those thingies again? Yeah, there we go. Transport. Okay. And then I'm going to go to here. Alright. <laughs> I was kind of lucky how they were all sat there together. It was quite easy to tranquilize them all. Um, get the next one. Send him over here. The last one. Oh, this is so much easier than you know. Normally, I'd have to go all the way over to here. Click on here. Go to the you know the transport team. Then go all the way back over here. Select on the uh, triceratops and then. You know, bring them over. I think they also did add time controls to this. If I remember correctly, I have to press this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I press, yeah, here we go. So I can speed up time. Actually, while they're doing that, let's check on baryonics. It's kind of weird watching him in, uh, you know, sped up time. No, oh, he's checking out the helicopters. I think. All right. Uh, anyway, now that they're transported, let's go back to normal time. That is not normal time, is it? No, that's normal time. Okay. Uh, that's done now, no? I'm pretty sure I've done that. Damn, even the Triceratops have like a new... Well, not a new model, but you know, obviously, it looks slightly better than last time. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet, uh, but I'm also concerned, no. specifically about our biodiversity. Still, biodiversity. You've really, you only given the chance to catch two, and now you're complaining. Alright. As well as building some additional viewing galleries, Half. the DFW staff can use to monitor. I need it to be cameras. in line. That should probably be easy for start from over there, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's go from here and then line it up perfectly. Oh, immac. Oh wait, no, that's not so immaculate. I need to. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now get it from here. Ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That that is that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now what? I need to ensure the Triceratops are visible from a research viewing gallery. They are, no? Are they not? Oh, I'm guessing this guy isn't. Yeah, he's out of the field of view. Great. Uh, have 90% of comfort. Uh, status check. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to... Oh, is he automatically doing it? Let me do it manually. There we go. Alright. I don't have that aim mode. Hello there, Mr. Tricer. No, that's going backwards. Oh, damn. I thought he was going to attack me then. Oh, wait, no. Okay, ground fiber. Oh, this guy can't get him for me. No, I, need to, I need to get closer. Status check. Boom. Alright. Uh, missing ground fiber. And we're missing these two are as well. Yeah, okay. So, how do I get ground fiber? Uh, it's most likely an environment. Uh, it's not rock, is it? This bottom? No, that's terrain. Uh, painting. Feeders. What? Oh, okay, yeah. It'll be in nature. Uh, ground fiber. 
don't see anything that says. Oh. oh, okay, so that provides ground fight. What's this one? Do you mean these give ground fight? Okay, this one does. And this one does. Well, that's that. Oh yeah, that's forest and leaf. This is fruit and nut. This would be better looking in a desert, no? Because that leafy climb is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one and see how this one looks. Okay, yeah, that looks quite nice. Maybe a bit too green. So I might mix in some of this one. Yeah, these are kind of green as well. Though. Do I not have anything that looks deserty? Oh, I just added them the wrong one. But do I not have anything that's a bit more deserty? Uh, I don't think I do. Oh, oh, here we go. I have like a cactus thing. Yeah, there we go. There's like cactuses. Okay. Yeah, get rid of the stuff they can actually eat. Placing cactus. <laughs> okay. Uh, are they not at ninety-five percent comfort? They're still missing graph. How's it going up? No, okay. I think they're still missing ground fiber. Let me place some more of that stuff down then. Right, how's that? They're missing water. Uh, there we go. Okay, contour lines. I don't know what that's for exactly, but let's decrease the radius. I kind of want to make it like a little river. Yeah, because we're in a desert, so they ain't going to get much water. Or I don't want it to look like there's loads of water. I'm just gonna give them like a little, you know, a little pool of water here. You know, I'll expand it a bit down here, so they actually have somewhere to go into the water. And then I'll make I'll make like a bigger pool over here. Oh no, wait, like a bigger pool here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That looks quite nice, I think. Whereas Barry looks obviously because he's like a semi-aquatic, not semi-aquatic, amphibious almost. Oh, he spends a lot of time. He eats fish, so he's obviously going to need water and need a lot more. So, operational expedition center. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. There we go. Get one built, and we'll take it from there. Oh, it doesn't give me the thing anymore. Okay. Um, there are guests in the park. I thought this was like a secret mission. All right, stick drift. Don't you dare. Uh, I need this to be. That'll do. It's not perfect, but you know I don't want to lose uh, that. So yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just not in line with that. Oh, that's kind of annoyed me a little bit. That uh, you know what doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's skip ahead in time so we don't have to wait for this. All right, it's done. Go back to normal time. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully Scientists. Find one as rough and tumble as I am. Where do I control center? Where's that? No. Response facility capture team. Emergency. Oh, okay. Here it is. Oh, view scientists. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's okay. I thought I thought the scientists had no face. There, I was like, what? Okay, so here's the people we can recruit. So I'm guessing I, I Durwood. I think his name is. I don't know if that's how you say it, but uh, he has two logistics, uh, one genetics, and zero welfare. I'm guess. Oh yeah, yeah. They're like skills. He has a trait: cheaper research, which is the cost of research uh, by thirty percent. Then we have Jose. Uh, two logistics, one genetics, and one welfare. His trait is altruistic salary, reduces salary by 50%. Uh, then we have Tyler. He has two logistics, zero genetics, one welfare, and his traits is 
faster research decreases task time by 50% okay so hmm who do I want to go with cheaper research okay this guy is the most expensive but he makes research cheaper this guy reduces his, his own salary by 50% and he's already got the cheapest salary so this one decreases task time I reckon task time is the most important now. oh wait they've also got I'm not too sure I might go with him because he's got I might go with Durwood because he has the like if you look on the right of the num like the right numbers uh, he's got like 7, 6 and 2 so I think that's like how high they can go whereas the other ones have 7, 4 and 3 and 7, 3 and 4 so I could go with them but faster research is kind of important. But also reducing the cost of them is important. Okay, you know what? I'll go with this guy. I'll go with this guy. Why? Why not? Hello, Durwood. You are now part of my epic team. You see this player? Yeah. Assign a scientist to the this live capture expedition. Live capture opportunity. How do I do that? Do I go to the expedition I center? Assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed. What, what task? Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what do we got to lose? You know, Did they just make a mute joke? Oh. Oh. Oh, urgent message. What? Incident alert. Our operatives in the field have received an incident alert about dangerous dinosaur proximity to the public in the outskirts of Las Vegas. Two injuries have been reported, and we need to send a live capture expedition immediately to capture and contain the threat. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it later, obviously. I'm, I'm going to go do it. But, uh, that's strange. Um, incident alert. Okay. Let's go do it, I guess. Live capture Stegosaurus. Alright, let's do it. Also, oh, I do this. Do I do this instead of like digging? Dinosaurs. That's quite Think cool. All right. Uh, so while he's doing that, my capture team are being attacked. Not capture team. Sorry, my ranger team are being attacked by Baryonyx. Which is not too great. So let's try and get them out of there. Oh, <laughs> the back door is hanging off. That's quite cool. Alright, safely out of there. Now, uh, what else have I got to do other than wait for this? I guess I could make this guy's enclosure slightly better. It's an environment. Uh, let's try and change the terrain. Yeah, why not? Actually, I kind of like the terrain as it is. I don't want to mess anything up terrain-wise, so I'll leave that. But maybe with these, I could have a few... Uh, get this. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Put a few of them in there. All right, is it done? There we go. Transmission incoming. Live capture four Stegosaurus. Okay. <coughs> uh, Stegosaurus are being delivered to your park. Are you ready to transport it? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I actually have to place it somewhere. Uh, isolate from other dinosaurs. Oh. Hold on. No, give me the two minutes. I need to do stuff first. I'm going to need to make an entirely new enclosure. Do I have space? No, no, do not do that. Alright. Uh, I have space here. Alright. Let's... Do Can I do it over here? No, I can't. Let's do it here. Should I make you go the whole way around? I've kind of block blocked off that area now. 
I might as well actually know it. I'll I'll do as I'll, I'll cut it from here. And I'll do this. So that it cuts off less of the area. But it's also still a pretty decently wide enclosure. There we go. That's a pretty decent enclosure now. It's actually incredibly big. And looks way less professional than the other two I've made. But, uh... Let's uh, demolish this. Okay. Actually, I kind of do want to keep it in this professional style. But I feel like I can't make it big enough. What if... Alright, what if I... No, I don't want to do that. What if I push it further to this side over here? So I get this. And... Oh. Yeah, you know what? Do it. I can handle it just while I'm building the fences. Obviously, I'm going to need a bit more time to actually finish them. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Bring that from here. And then... Use that. To then create... A nicer looking enclosure. Connect that to there. And delete this. There we go. It looks slightly better now. How was that? Oh. Stick search. Okay, so then I wanna No, I don't wanna get rid of that. Otherwise they will escape. Uh I need to try and make these look a bit better. So maybe if I do this and then this. That could look a bit better. There we go, that looks... <sighs> it doesn't look amazing, because that's kind of slanted, but you know what, I'll take it. Uh, right, I need a gate, status check, status check, whatever. Uh, let me go get the gate on there. Okay. Quickly get... Where's the ranger team gone? Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. What I'm saying, only you said. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Alright, uh, ground fruit, okay. I'm guessing that's in the same section as my ground fiber was before uh, ground fruit okay these give ground fruit so let's use these again uh... do these give ground fruit? no they give ground fruit not so i guess i'll continue to oh my god he's killing my ranger team that's not great uh, yeah, the, the, the door has been broken again. Have, have you status checked them all? I don't think he has. Yeah, he hasn't. Oh no, rescan. Okay, yeah. Alright, they're all they've all been status checked. You can leave now, Mr. Research Man. Now I need a viewing gallery and I also another backup generator so that I can power this. This won't power the whole fence though. Will it? But this this doesn't power all that. Backup generator. Backup generators provide power immediately around them as and when required. Backup generators consume fuel while power is drawn from them, so use them sparingly. Place backup generators to cover important facilities and keep them topped up to kick in if the power goes out. Well, uh, I don't actually have any other source of power, so backup generators are going to have to cut it, I suppose. Uh, let's get one of those thingies. 
Are they on enclosures? No. Operations? Where are they? Operatives? Facility? Oh, there we go. Facility. I did not expect it to be into facility, but okay. Uh, let's put it here so they can see where the... Nope, too close to dinosaur. Can you move? Please, Mr. Dinosaur. Can I don't want to place this here. There we go. Alright, nice. So, I'm going to get this path. Hopefully that goes far enough out. Yep, there we go. No. Alright, that's in line. So, what I need to do now is try and... No? Oh no, I've got to wait for this Infurian girl to be built so I can do this challenge, but... Uh, only the dinosaur's doing good. I hope so. Yep. He's checking the fence for some reason. What's he doing? He's he's jiggling about a bit. Owen, we have a real problem. I'm a problem? Trying, Claire, but it's just well, this is who I am. Not you. Uh, <laughs> dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way, and it could Of course there is. There's. <laughs> Why? Well, I hate storm. Oh, oh. How do I refuel okay. this? Resupply. Oh, I can resupply them. It costs. Oh, okay, that's annoying. 400k. Uh, Alright. Let's do it. Let's make sure they're full. Can I open emergency shelters? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, what I'm gonna need to do is. I don't know the I don't, I don't know whether I want these to control these so that I can fix fences, or to control these so that I can you know sedate dinosaurs. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use these so I can like instantaneously fix fences I suppose. But actually no they they take a while to fix now I'm guessing as well because they take a while to you know. Yeah, as I assumed. Fence broken and it had to be baryonyx. It could not be one of the slightly more not 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 completely harmless, but you know more harmless herbivores. No, it had to be the big you know carnival. All right, fence fixed. Let's try and do this as quick as possible. Boom, speed run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Direct control. Come on, come on, helicopter. All right. Big baryonyx. I'm afraid your time's up. It's been like five seconds, but get back in your enclosure, you stinky bloke. Oh no. And that. No. Yes. There we go. <coughs> Let's close all these shell. No. no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, dinosaur danger. Open your emergency shelters during dangerous storms and dinosaur escapes to avoid. Oh, uh, storms and dinosaur escapes to avoid a hit to your safety rating. Tranquilize each rampaging dinosaur to quickly... Wait, too quickly? What? No. Quickly using aim mode or lock-on. Transport dinosaurs back into their enclosures before they wake up again. Oh, so they wake up now. Or I'm guessing they wake up quicker because in the last game it took a long time to actually move them to transport them. Uh, rampaging dinosaurs can damage or destroy sections of your enclosure fence, leaving an open breach. Select a response facility using R1 and use a ranger team to manually initiate repairs or assign them t assign, assign them repair tasks to carry out. Okay. So I've just got to do this now so I can put him back in his enclosure. And oh my god, it. it, it it's almost been an hour. Uh, I think we're gonna have to end the episode here. Unfortunately, we'll wait till we'll wait till Baryonyx gets put in his thingy. We'll speed it up a bit, and then as soon as I've done that, I'll uh, end the episode. And uh, well, unfortunately, if you have enjoyed this, you're gonna have to wait till the next episode. But saying that, if you have enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like, even subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Uh, bye bye.